members of the Legal Parliamentary Affairs Committee. There are people meant on promoting this vice. How do you want us to handle them? Especially targeting the minors whom you protect so dearly. The penal code, as amended, deals with these issues very effectively. So does the Sexual Offences Bill, which this parliament itself passed recently. We already have bills, as I've stated, which deal with the problem that we have, which mm. is taking advantage of children. Mm. We already have that law. Mm. So in my view, this bill should be scrapped. It should not be given the light of day. Should the sexual abuse of children be punished? Absolutely. Should their recruitment in sexual acts be punished? Absolutely. Should rape be punished? Absolutely. Both heterosexual and homosexual abuse of children and sexual assaults must be punished in the harshest possible way. But let's not make a mistake. Pedophilia and homosexuality is not the same thing. And it's well established, Honorable Chair and members of the committee, that the majority of pedophiles are heterosexual. Don't we think it is now the right time to try and pass legislation to mitigate the recruitment? Honorable Amama Ambabazi was the principal author of the Public Order Management Act in 2011. When he contested for presidency in 2016, it was his poma that the government used to stop him from moving around the country and campaigning. Don't be surprised when this law comes back to haunt you one day. Must we as legislators put down the weapons and say we should not legislate as a, for, to, for the betterment of our community? I think that would be a wrong approach for us to shy away from our responsibility and duty. Legislating out of a, a moment, a wave, a wave of antipathy, of animus, where somehow the public have decided that these people are extremely dangerous and must be dealt with, there's a danger in legislating out in, in that sense of emotion. It can lead us to treating uh, malaria with chemotherapy and killing the patient, treating indigestion with surgery and killing the patient, uh, whipping up emotion we cannot then contain, and causing fellow Ugandans to be scared in their own country. Just kindly give us a summary.